Morning everybody, Chad, Doss Farms. Let's get some cubes in the panels before they get here and uh, I'll tell you guys what we're gonna do. I need Frank to go in there. That would actually be perfect. They're getting pretty smart and wise to it. They know when they go in, they gotta stay for a little bit. Got the farrier coming and we'll see what's wrong. I really don't think it's broke. We don't see any swelling. If he was broke, they said he'd be just miserable and he'd be yelling and screaming and crying, but he's not. So, hey, get in there. Oh, Tipsy, you stay in there too. As you guys know, we banded Frank the other day, uh, but we did not get him a tetanus shot because I just flat forgot to get it at the store. Tractor supply. And then I had to look it up and read up on it. There's two different types of tetanus shots. There's some science behind it, but I bought the antitoxin that can be given three or four days later and works just as effective. It is straight up the fourth day so as you guys know we got a new coupe they're super sketched we got a new coupe i have not put the auto door on yet because i'm not sure where we want it like i don't know if i want the auto door here to let him out into the run um or if i want it here to let them out here that way we've always got an enclosed run i'm not sure yet Whoop. three four five six okay unless there's another one on the nest nope they did lay two eggs yesterday though so that's good but we've still got like four and they've got water by the way they've got food in the tray i didn't show it but We've got four other chickens and they are probably roaming around here somewhere and they have not made it into the coop yet. We just flat couldn't catch them. So we did the trick where you come outside at night with flashlights and red lights and you kind of blind them and walk up on them. We were able to get six, including cowboy. Ray got cowboy. <laughs> cowboy is so confrontational in a, in a good way. He was just super curious. But Ray actually just sat real still. I wish I'd been filming. I was pretty proud. She sat real still with the flashlight and just aimed it at him. Dude walked right up to her. And then she was like, wham, grabbed him. And they're still alive. There's like four or five of them up there. I truthfully, people are going to ask. I truthfully don't know how many chickens we have. True story. I'm not hiding it. Yeah, there it is. So anyway, back to band camp. And here's the other unfortunate thing, which we are running to the store to get it today. I bought the tetanus shot and it's only one dose. I only give it to Frank. So that means I have to ban Patrick and then give him a tetanus shot a day or two later because they're actually out. They're out like 20 minutes from me. They're out 30 minutes from me. They're out an hour from me, but they do have some coming in. I've already got my name on it. I'll make sure and show it when he gets it. Cause I know you guys like seeing that stuff. We did have a bit of an issue last night. There's a bull in the neighbor's pasture. And I don't want to say there's not supposed to be, but there's not supposed to be. Tipsy and two others, uh, Tipsy and Bunny were the two that we noticed the most were over there last night. June was not, Sonny was not, but we definitely saw Tipsy and the neighbor's Angus bull. They all it takes is one time because that is all it takes. But typically you leave a bull with your cows or your heifers for 60 days to make sure it takes. The problem is, I pretty much know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's a good working bull over there. And I'm fairly certain we saw what we think we saw. I've been in contact with a neighbor, done all the right things. There wasn't supposed to be a bull over there. That's the short version. I took the Liberty last night and put up one, two cattle panels. I've got a third one making this higher. And you can see this berm of dirt right here. You can see how big it is compared to Cabela. That's 100 pound dog, so you can see how big the dirt is. But uh, yeah, the bull was 
right here last night. I put cattle panels on that side, which might seem counterproductive because you want them on this side of the panels. But coming this side of the panels, all this dirt raised the cattle panels too much and they still could have probably crawled under it. So I'm just doing the best I can. But trust me, those are, I mean, I used actual fencing pliers, a set of dikes, if you will. I used actual fencing pliers and barbed wire. And I mean, those things are just saran wrapped on there and they're extremely robust. Now they would have to legit just push it over. I'm also going to drag that dirt out of there with my box blade today. You know, when I just thought there was heifers over there and it was 120 degrees, they're grain trained. You know, uh, my dad, Grandpa Doss, he's got a video coming out tomorrow and he had to work some of his animals and I can't tell you the advantage to having them grain trained. Uh, but if you're not grain training, you're doing it wrong. The cattle call, smacking the feed bucket with the handle, shaking it. My animals would follow me into fire when I do those things. And, you know, yeah. So I got them all back last night, but I'm going to be honest. If the neighbor's bull would have come through here, I'd have kept him. And I'd have made the neighbor come get him. That's how mad I was. Here's the deal, though. We were going to take that guy down to Lone Rock Ranch and bring back a bull. We were going to keep the bull over at Mr. and Mrs. A's because a lot of you guys were curious. You were like, well, wait a second. You got agreement with your neighbor to not run a bull in your pasture. They don't run one in their pasture. We were going to run it over at Mr. and Mrs. A's, which doesn't cross fence with anybody. And it would have been okay. And we were going to put CJ with Lone Rock Ranch. I was going to put Finn with the bull. So he had some company, but there's also too many horses over there. But we're gonna hold off for a minute and get some things worked and set up right. I also wanna show you guys too, I bought a vaccination, like a five way and then there's a seven way. But before I do that, I want you guys to tell me what you use down below. All I've got, the only resource I have is the vet or um, whatchamacallit, tractor supply and the reviews and such. So I want to make sure we're actually doing it the proper way. All right, so I've got my weapons of choice here. We're gonna go over here, see who's ready to come in. Lily's down here, hang on. Get him, Lily. Too funny. Hey, there's a chicken. Our chickens are gonna be free ranging, by the way. Um, we're keeping them pinned up. We can get away with like uh, 48 hours because Cowboy's been in there. And the chickens that have been free ranging still, which we still want to free range, this, this run is only for like, you know, Ray wants to raise some different birds and keep them safe. We also want to be able to hatch some out. And the run makes it safe to have pullets without, you know, like before they know where to go and how to be safe, we can have pullets. But I will eat you right here if you don't get away from the truck. Shh, shh. Go on, shh, go on, shh. I'm gonna go get the fly spray. Take it easy, take it. hang on, hang on, hang on. Shh, shh. Stinker. Sorting here a little bit. That's the only thing with my setup is, hi young lady. Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. I need your boy though. If I, uh, here, hang on, I'll let you out. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it that way. Go on. Watch Tipsy run when she sees this can. <laughs> Stagger. All right. We got to get Frank and Pat in there and get June out. He'll walk right by his mom. Hang on. June bug, you're killing me, Smalls. Maggie, get in there and run him out. Run him out of there, Maggie. Okay, Maggie, you might want to move. You might want to move faster. Go that way. 
so she'll go out. Now we're cooking. Keep moving, please. Keep moving quicker, please. Whew. All right. And then there were two. And your mama's still watching. Let's see if mom loves her baby more than cubes. I said what I said. Uh-oh, Pat. I don't think she cares, man. She's calling for a bull. Yep. Maggie P, what you thinking, lady? All right. Let's get you guys buttoned up in here. Watch out, Magnus. I think he recognizes the stick. Come on. Shh. Are you like a show calf? Are you like a show calf, Frank? Come on. Psh, psh. Woo! All right. Looks like Frank ran me up the fence because he ain't, he, he ain't feeling it. It's because that's what Frank did. Oh, man. I can't wait for all the comments about my Crocs, too. Crocs and gym shorts and a t-shirt and a cowboy hat. You ain't no cowboy. Listen, I didn't say I was a cowboy. I just bought a cowboy hat. Gonna have to make sure Ray Ann knows Maggie does not need any food. Vamanos, Frankados, and Patros. Go on. Go on. Now we're cooking. go here stinker here hang on hey that's the wrong way scooter that's the wrong way you guys just spin for me baby spin for me here let's open this front gate a little bit let's see Woo, patrick hey big boy Somebody said these fold. They do not. Dude, don't poopy in it. Okay, as soon as he spins, that's what we're talking about. Okay. All right, brother. Gotta be quick on the draw, Chatty. Got it. All right. Man, how cool is that, buddy? That's gotta feel safe, honey. That has to. Whew. All right. We got a good squeeze on him. Right. Okay. My tetanus. Got my band. There's a double latch there. All right. He's got a good set on him, but we'll be all right. So hang on a minute. Hey, back up, lady. Mm. Woo! All right. I don't know how much of that you guys saw, but that old boy's got a set on him, Cabela. Listen, I'm still learning. And here's what I did this time wrong, if you will. Oh, 
Come on, buddy. Woo! Just in time. Woo! Normally you should band them. Much, much sooner. Much sooner. We had somebody reach out to us that was pretty sure they wanted a bull, and then it ghosted me. That went on for about three or four weeks, so I waited. Per Aaron and Kylie, they were like, band him, band him. So our, our friends at, at Lone Rock Ranch, where all the Longhorns came from, Aaron was like, band him, like two months ago. March 17th, April, May, June, July, August. Five month old, five month old bull calf. So what I had to do was pull the, hang on buddy, you're next. Pull the bottom of the, you know what, south, let one drop through and then work the other one down. And I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Cabela here was watching my back, making sure Tipsy didn't come out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, that went, that went how it's supposed to go. So he's getting used to it, look. Oh, and by the way, if you're following along, huge shout out to Ben, our neighbor. So Ben owns this land right here where the bull made it down into the pasture, but it's not his cattle. They live way over there, but they're allowed to come over here and graze. So I wanted to clarify, it's not Ben that had the issue. Watch out, Cabela. Pinch him so he's gotta go forward. It's not Ben that had the issue, but Ben fixed it. Up where they come through, he put a cattle panel up there so they can't come down into this lower pasture until that bull's gone. It happens. Good fences make good neighbors. And Ben's a good neighbor, so I appreciate it. I literally texted him last night and said, dude, we gotta fix this. He said, I'll take care of it in the morning. It's morning. 9.04, he texted me about 30 minutes ago. 8.30 in the morning, he had it fixed. Whoop, way up there. He blocked it off, so they, there's only like 10 acres right here. And I think that gate up there opens into another 40. And then on the back of that 40, there's like 160. So anyway, that's a good dog right there. All right, so Frank's a little bit more stingy. So we're gonna use our walking stick here. This is pretty stinking ingenious, man. I'm not gonna lie. These are just some big kind of, I don't know, polycarbonate piece on some locking washers and they've even got them marked see that so you know if they're moving or not that's pretty cool one more buddy one more and then we'll open that gate all right let's try this stick your head down there buddy you can do it this is for your own good man this is just medicine the hard part's over it's okay it's all right stick your head through there brother do it man do it, man. I gotta walk you one more. All right, we'll secure his head. It ain't hurting him. It's all pressure, so it's like hydraulics and stuff. But now you can tag him, he can't get you. It's a good thing, man. All right, Cabela, you got my back. Okay, so I'm gonna link a video down below that I watched how to do this. Yes, this was in the refrigerator and it's still good. What we gotta do, let's see. This moves out. And I'm gonna pinch him a little bit, a little bit more. It ain't hurting him. I'm gonna tag a video that I watched how to do this. If you guys wanna know, I'm not gonna show you. I don't think I can set the camera up without it falling, but we'll try it. Here, hang on. All right, that's your boy. Hey, kid. Give him the neck. And somebody said to leave a little squeeze on them so they don't come out like, not guns blazing, but you know what I mean. So, I kept my bar in there this time so he couldn't back up and stay in. But he's good, I know, buddy, I know. 
I know. You do what you want, brother. There's such an honor little cuss, man. Woo! But yeah, how cool is that? I got some custom ear tags too coming. And we'll uh, get him an ear tag here pretty quick. But I'm excited. Man, what a relief. What a relief, Cabeller. You guys that... You guys that use systems like this and know them inside and out, oh my goodness, man. This thing is worth its weight in gold, and that would be a lot of gold. Whew. Pretty slick. So he's going to head back here and chill. Yesterday at 9.06 in the morning, our weather station alerted me and told me that it was already a feels like of 102. This morning it's 80. I think uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night is supposed to get down into the 60s. And tomorrow, Ray ends up there, my best friend. Tomorrow, uh, there's a chance of rain. And you guys know how I feel about storms. I don't like them. Thunder and lightning and wind, I don't like them. Especially I don't like them at the night. I can't see what's in them. But it's been so hot that you might see some video of me standing outside in the rain tomorrow because <laughs> i can't wait they were all coming over here and just mooing and crowing and balking and doing all that stuff at each other i think what i'm going to do i don't want to put a gate back there because we'd have to delete delete we'd have to get rid of some of these trees um and they really like laying back there so i don't know you don't really want a gate here though because you got nowhere to go maybe the gate does need to go there Cause I think you guys know, but man, Ben, Ben's been a, a big help and he's got the tractor out a couple times. He cleaned out our ditches, this for that. Call me if you need me. I sent him a text. He's like, Hey, I got it. And he fixes it the next morning. Um, no complaints. So we, uh, appreciate being on the same page with Ben and, uh, we'll get that gate sorted right there. You guys got to see this. This pig is so stinking smart. Following her buddy Cabela. That's a girl. Fertilize that lawn. Come on, pig, pig. She'll stay right there. You know it's hot when she don't get up. <laughs> Patrick? How's it hanging? <laughs> yeah. He's chilling with his ladies, though. You okay, buddy? You all right? Doing okay, buddy? No bite. Huh? The pigs bite? She's biting me. They bite? Well, you put your finger in her mouth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anything would bite you if you put your finger in his mouth. Put your finger in, in Frank's mouth. Remember, remember when we sat out here and talk about how quiet it was, how peaceful it was? Those are the cutest little squeals ever, so it's still peaceful. <laughs> it's very peaceful. Everyone wants to hear piggy squeals. Because they're so cute. Mm -hmm. Maggie goes, oh, 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 oh. How's that again? <laughs> Woo! Check it out. So I've become kind of a water connoisseur. Is that Wikia? Yeah. Hawaiian volcanic water. Naturally alkaline electrolytes, deep well water. Deep well water. It's the first test right here. <laughs> they got to see Izzy. Here's Annie. 
right, there's your pig dose for the day. Oh, sorry. Don't pick Maggie up. Nobody deserves that. <gasps> Maggie screams. No, she doesn't. Hmm. That is some good volcano water. Look how big she is. <laughs> She's enormous. This is my girl. This is my girl. <laughs> Try that. Is it good? It is pretty good. I've been bush hogging, so it's really good. It tastes, I mean, it tastes like water. It's, it's really good. I'm glad you love it. Listen. I've become, I, I have, I've started researching water and you know, the one I like the best is liquid death. Mm -hmm. It comes in a can. There's okay. something about the metal that makes it taste better. Look at how straight her ears are. Who is that? Roxy, what happened to your ears? <laughs> They're pointing to the sky. She's not a baby anymore. My goodness. So nothing really new. I bush hogged a little bit. Uh, Ray's cleaning the house like a mad woman. I'm letting her do it. <laughs> Just staying out of her way, picking up what I see. I I'm not that why, dirty. I don't even know why I clean. I don't. My we've got wait 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. We've got mud and dirt, like mud stains. They're not stains. Like if I mopped, they'd come up. But I take the shop back and I shop back up all the dirt, um, because there's a lot of dirt. <laughs> Um, but I don't mop the floors and I'm not going to probably until, gosh, I don't even know. I'm never going to mop the floor. Where did the pigs eat breakfast this morning? Say it. Come back. In the front room. That's where. <laughs> I don't know why the house is dirty. I think they're too small for her to swing at. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to though. Shish kebab, Maggie. <gasps> no. Oh, that would be terrible. She wants them out of there. She wants a drink. She's not trying very hard. There's though. literally a tub of water right there. <laughs> I'm drinking water. I still have not had a monster. Today's been like officially a week. I do think I'm going to go over there, though, and let Cowboy and his ladies out here in a minute. It's yeah, like... Today? Yeah, it's 4.30 the night you guys are watching this, and I'm going to let them out so they'll be right around the coop, and that way they'll go up here in a little bit. Everyone move. <laughs> because I did install the auto coop door. Hopefully, Cowboy will call them all in there tonight. That's my hope. We decided to put the coop door on the coop, not the run. Mm -hmm. That way, if we ever want to raise anything in the run, we can just close the door to the coop, raise something in the run, and mm -hmm. they can't get out. So yeah. I think that's the best way to do it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, well, Patrick's doing okay. He needs a tetanus shot but I'll get him that tomorrow. I'll let you guys know when we do it. Uh, Frank has officially been banded and has his tetanus shot. That was pretty eventful. I saw them earlier. Oh, you saw them? Yeah. Yeah? Not like on the ground. They're like still attached, but it doesn't look pretty. Yeah. Well, it's been, uh, it's only been four days. They're usually on it for about two weeks. They will shrivel up like raisins. They're starting to. Before That's they what, fall yeah. off. Yeah. It was, not like not too bad but it's like is that still attached there it's a bit like, awkward <laughs> yeah but i don't know was... they still got quite a bit though quite a ways to go yeah. it can be up to like two or three weeks so technically it could be like this next weekend but it's likely going to be the next next <laughs> thank you goose but anyway there's so many animals right here this used to be my spot and now oh, there's whatever. animals everywhere they've always hung out at this tree. they knocked the grill over every day <laughs> lick the grease pan that's how i'm gonna clean my grill i'm just gonna take the uh lid off and let them lick the, the I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie though we're gonna, we're gonna do fencing and what do fencing and get the animals like their own little pins and get them away from the house and all sorts of stuff but i'm gonna kind of be sad 
Are you? Yeah. I'm not. The short I posted this morning, like, you were already out here, of course. <laughs> but when I came out You this mean morning, at 9.45? It was not 9.45. I woke up at like 8 o'clock this morning. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I did stop. No, I just looked out the door, but Little Donk and Lucy and Lily and Tina and Roxy and everybody was right here at, like, the deck at the front door. And the dogs and Lily and Roxy were playing and Sadie and Roxy kept like jumping back and forth at each other. So like the dogs and the baby alpacas were playing and I grabbed my cereal and I took a video of them, kind of. They weren't very good videos, but yeah, I'm gonna be sad. You can still do that. You just have to go inside a pen. No. Instead of worrying about them being on top of our picnic table and up against the she shed. Yeah, last night before I <clears> crawled <throat> into bed, I looked out the window and Bruce was laying on top of the picnic table. <laughs> he sleeps right here, I believe. <laughs> are we going to go live on your channel? Like if I air this early, are we going live tonight? Um, what are we going to talk about? The coop? Yeah. And stuff? Uh, maybe not. You lose service when you get back there. Uh, yep. Top of the hill to the house is about all you get. You get down there and is that technically is that a holler i mean i know we don't own it but like us against the root the yeah. ranch yeah once you get down in there you lose service after we premiere his video tonight i will go live on my channel um to give you guys a little bit more um, we have to if it's in the video we can't tell him we might go live and then not go live okay, otherwise fine. i'll just edit it out okay fine they just want to see stuff we'll I just know. walk them around we'll hang out i just we'll i see. don't know what to talk about sometimes and so but being on the live and answering questions and interacting with everybody is really fun so then it ends up getting along but i don't know it'll be all right all right let's go live we'll go live tonight we'll show you the chicken coop what we'll do is we'll just start talking we'll start walking towards the chicken coop and as soon as it like buffers or whatever we'll have them tell us we'll turn around and come back okay deal we can try that all right that said right after this right after this airs like right now y'all be good don't work too hard don't make it weird we're Come going on. live on Ray's channel, Ray's Sunny Days. Come on over. Top comment right now. The link in the chat. Go over there. We're live. Come hang out. God bless. Happy Saturday night. Deuces.